the death. All right, y'all. Got another really cool episode for you. I mean, at least it'll be cool for you guys getting rid of the potato beetle, which we have coming in right now. And as you can see, it has done some serious damage on our potato plants. So we're gonna go ahead and show you what to do um, in order to take care of these guys and then save your potato plants. So let's get started. So the potato beetle likes to come out in early morning, just like those slugs from that other video. So what we wanna do is come out in the early morning and take these little guys and pluck them off. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put my garden gloves on for this because as much as I like bugs, I just don't always like touching them all the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> gloves, here we go. <laughs> and we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna pluck them right into the soapy water. They're gonna have a bubble bath that'll they'll remember for the rest of their lives, literally. <laughs> so you gotta go through here we're going to take these guys out. I think hand doing it for the first round is a really good idea. Um, and you have to go and actually check under the soil too. Because sometimes they like to hide under here in the mulch. But right now we're just going to get these guys off of here. See, oh, yep, Sarah just spotted a couple more here. Boom. Take them all off and you can look under the plants too. You wanna to check both sides, I'm sorry, under the leaves here, okay? So after you go through the whole crop for these guys, I found a couple more, I can't leave them. They need to join the bubble bath too. So after you hand pick everything, what you wanna do is, um, I, use, I like to use an organic means of just keeping them away and end up actually killing the rest of them when they come. It's called diatomaceous earth. And what you're gonna do, it's the fossilized remains of diatoms. And what it does is it cuts through the exoskeleton of these potato beetles and ends up killing them. It is very safe for people. You just wanna um, rinse it when you're harvesting the plant. You just wanna rinse off the plant really well. Um, I'm using gloves, I have sensitive skin. So, you know, you may wanna do that um, if you have sensitive skin, but for the most part, it's totally good. You just want to make sure you're using the food grade diatomaceous earth, which it should say on the packet. And we can give you a link um, to some good, good stuff. So what we'll do is just sprinkle it lightly like this over the plant to protect the plant from here on out. And you also want to actually get down here and sprinkle it along the ground just really lightly. So we'll go through and do our whole plant just like that for our whole crop and we'll be good to go. Now other quick tips really fast. So one way to also um, organically keep away the potato beetle is to plant uh, like uh, flowers like marigolds. Um, you can list some other ones for you, but if you plant them around the plants, it'll attract in beneficial insects like ladybugs, parasitic wasps, and uh, other ones like that. Um, and they actually will feed on the larva of the potato beetle. So it's really good to plant them as a companion plant with the potato you know, plant as well. So that's it. So thank you guys for joining in. Please, if you have any comments, please share them. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, if you have any other tips, send them our way. Love to hear it. So thank you all so much and have a good rest of your weekend.